As a producer, my ambition at some point in my career was to produce films for my father. Not so early on as you know, my second movie. But uh, he'd written the script just before Christmas. And I was in Vancouver at the time and uh, living there. And uh, I heard from the family that, you know, dad's written a script. So I was like, send it over, you know, email it to me. Wow. <laughs> email it to your daughter, the producer. Wow. Uh, which eventually I got it, and he was obviously busy trying to find his own money in London. Sure. And um, I took it and went running with uh, my producing partner, Canadian producer, William Vincent. Yeah. So that's how it began, and, and we sort of playing we met in the middle, and together yeah. we all put the film off the ground. We never have sat down and spoken about it. It was never, you know, okay, now today I'm your producer and you're my director, I'm not your daughter. Well, I am your daughter, but let's, you know. Yeah. It was never spoken about. We've worked so many times before. Right. And they're incredibly close and get on very, very well. Mm. So it was, it was easy, but it was also very, very hard. I mean, to work with someone you know, mm. uh, as a director and producer capacity, I think it's fantastic because mm. you can sort of, you know, you completely understand what they want, you know. Feel what they need. You try and your job is to try and give the director everything he's requiring to make his image, you know, his views and sure. everything come come to life. Mm. But it's difficult when <laughs> you're having to say to your director, but possibly no, that's not what we can afford, or we're not going to be able to achieve, or we're not going to be able to get this because with, uh, with many, many more years of experience, <laughs> the, uh, there were times when. You know, it was good because he could take me aside and give me advice. Yeah, sure. I don't think you can find that. We don't haven't found that with other directors because you know mm. it, it worked. It worked really, really well. I mean, it was nice to have the buffer of William Vince because yes. when there were awkward moments, I'd send Bill in okay. and say, "You go and deal with Terry." There was an amazing working relationship, and it always has been. So yeah. it doesn't it doesn't bode well with family when you're all sitting. Home, trying to have a you know, Sunday roast or whatever. Sure. And everyone yeah. wants to eat. It's like this you know, always, let's the talk about the, the movie. The let's talk yeah. about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and your mum's going, no. <laughs> yeah. It was incredible because we had three very, very hard years trying to complete a movie. Just because we had the loss of Heath Ledger and then we had the loss of the, my producing partner, Bill Vince. So it was been this incredibly difficult journey um, and so going to Cannes after three years and a year of post-production is kind of this amazing lifting of wow we've achieved it we've just received a 10 minute standing ovation just to have a great feeling walking up that red carpet with you know, the producers the actors it was uh, phenomenal Obviously you have an instant shock, a reaction, it's a horrendous, horrific moment, it's a loss in everything about it was anything, you know, the death is of someone who's close. And, but what happened was, I think it was everyone into, like, auto, like it was autopilot, but you know, this more intensity, because not only have we lost a friend, we've lost an actor, and we have a movie, and there is no way that we're going to let, you know, I think, this film go down.